pack with a dash of flair Gonna ride it fast through the city air But tinkering round with a sneaky plan Old Nitro Mix got the upper hand Pour in the fuel with a nervous sigh Hoping old Bessie doesn't make me cry But nitro and fame gives a beastly roar And that carburetor's gonna make me poor Oh, nitro moped blues are here to stay Twisting wrenches almost every day Explosive power got me feeling stressed I just want a ride that runs its best Flags in the wind as I Welcome back to my garage Last time we talked about variator stuff and stuff but what we're really working on now is uh, nitro nitro injection for my land speed bike. We started out with just pure nitromethane injection alongside a carburetor on a normal gas mix. Tuned for uh, a good AFR and then just adding nitro. Started with that, then we started playing with a uh, throttle body. Uh, throttle position sensor and uh, uh, do-it-yourself mechanical kind of electromechanical injection system and uh, haven't gotten too far with that and lots of trouble then we started playing with uh, a more mechanical approach with a kind of a needle valve in this carb and uh, first iteration of that uh, concept was uh, well leaky and just a reminder experimental stuff but this is going to be tested on my separate test bench not this will not go into the main engine until it's actually not experimental anymore so just keep that in mind and about that my cylinders from Salevatech should be here maybe today actually um, definitely next week looking forward to that so our goal is to cram as much nitromethane as possible into the engine I think we should go back to our first test but this time use a proper injector not just well, I had like an oil, f oil feed uh, thing going on and uh, not controllable at all and not high pressure, not vaporized, anything like that. So let's, that's the plan for today. Go back to nitromethane injector into a carb. The theory here is that if the carb is already tuned for a good AFR on gas, it will run fuel rich and should consume all the oxygen consumed by the engine in the air and thereby by adding just pure nitromethane we shouldn't be able to run it lean we should just be able to run it the more nitro we add the richer it'll get that's one theory another theory is that if I were to mix the gas with the nitro then suddenly AFR would be far too lean and we kind of will be mixing it just doesn't happen in the carb, it happens in the crankcase. So I'm curious to see if it actually goes richer and richer or if it actually goes leaner and leaner if I add more nitro. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna use the honker as the injection, uh, the nitro button. And I th it should be blue and uh, yellow. It is not. The honker button is faulty, but the flash main beam button is working. Why did I play with those fancy plans? Sticking to basics is my end demand. I learned my lesson, less can be more. Nitromethane's got me on the floor. Oh, nitromethane. Gotta add that button into our uh, Arduino controller for the injection setup. Previous video, I talked about Sailey, the eSIM provider gives you affordable 
data plans when you're traveling abroad on your cell phone super easy there's an app and uh, and it's a virtual sim card i forgot to add the links so go to sailor.com slash two stroke stuffing link in the description and on the screen i spun this up for a quick test before i turn the camera on and uh just to see if we would lift the the fuel the problem is i think just that tiny bit of trying to lift the fuel actually it's really hard to turn now. I have a suspicion I seized it. Oh, power got me feeling stressed. I just want a ride that runs its best. Oh, why did I play with those fancy plans? The O-ring has definitely swelled a lot. It'll probably come back to normal when it's dry though. I don't think the o-ring o-ring swelling is probably not the problem even though this one too is super swelled there's no signs of corrosion or anything we'll have to wait for these to to get back to normal size and then reassemble with copious amounts of oil be on the safe side. I've dried them a little bit and as you can see I managed to push at least this one into place again and I think I think we're fine now. Basics is my end of man. I've learned my lesson. Less can be more. Nitromethane's got me on the floor. Yeah, spinning much more freely. I think we're back in business. It might be just having the methanol in there for a good while now had created some corrosion, no, especially on the aluminium. Got it hooked back up again. It's spinning freely and the tank is above the pump. Now just let's see if it pumps and then set a nice low spray volume and test it. Hmm. And now it's super, well, maybe not. Well, it seems tight again. Could be that my injector is clogged. Let's take this apart and clean it. I forgot to turn the camera on before I took this apart, but uh, this is the filter inside of the injector and it's uh, full of crap. So that's definitely a problem. There. So if we're still in focus, this is the this is the one-way valve. There's a ball here and a little spring. And uh, this is the atomizer thing. And then there's the filter and some O-rings. Okay, I'll clean this up properly and um, and reassemble, and we'll give it another go. I reassembled this and uh, and tried running it, and it did work, but it did spray wonky and I pulled it apart again and now there's uh, there's metal shavings in the stuck in the injector there's some steel in here and I have a suspicion the pump is eating itself and it's not nitromethane compatible for some strange reason I thought nitro would be less corrosive than methanol maybe it's just running super dry as there's not much oil there's like 5% oil in there Versus earlier we ran 10%. Uh, Either way, this does not work as I was hoping it to work. How I was hoping it to work. Super tight now. So maybe it's the oil content, too low oil content, or just the nitro playing havoc, wrecking havoc on, the, on our pump. Plan B, hopefully that works. Natural eating through my machine. Fuel pump crying, a mechanical scream. Plan A is busted, it's dead in the ground. Gotta flip the script, turn it all around. The engine's coughing, spitting out smoke. Dreams of glory about to choke, but I've got a sin. No 
So now our setup is a normal EFI pump, which says it's okay with ethanol fuel, so E85. And says it's specifically not okay with methanol, though I have been running methanol through it for testing and it seems to be... Uh, it works and it has survived. Now it will have its go with uh, pure nitromethane and a little bit of oil. So this is a normal return type fuel system, so this will be going full song all the time. And uh, the check valve in our nozzle is one bar, so we'll have to set this higher than one bar. And hopefully fuel flow is not too high for, uh, for the, our first test here. So now it's, it's only returning. Nothing but returning still. Hopefully the jet isn't clogged. There's something wrong with my jet because it's not supposed to squirt out the side there. So probably some dirt in there, but uh, you know what? Let's, let's try this. Let's try it like it is now. And uh, we can uh, first of all clean the jet after our initial testing and make it work as it's supposed to work again. I have a strong suspicion this filter is our problem, that we can't have a filter on the, on the in, inlet. I'll get exhaust extraction and stuff going and uh, we'll start it up on gas, warm it up a little bit and then uh, see what happens with nitro injection. It started running away from me, wouldn't shut off with the kill switch and then it wouldn't, well, then it died and I'm pretty sure the plug is melted. And this kind of, and we didn't see, like we didn't spray much nitromethane, we saw maybe one horsepower increase there, let's see here, maybe half a horsepower, something like that. It might mean the, the perfect AFR on gas is mixing with the nitro in the crankcase and then it turns out to a super lean nitro mix. Now the plug is... It's dark but it's not fouled. Might be we actually fouled the plug that it was running too rich. Yeah, 
Okay, so it's fine. Maybe we just can't add a tiny amount. Maybe we'll have to add a lot. I'm gonna up the pressure a little bit and uh, give it another spin. And now let's see how it behaves. Adding more nitro seemed to help, making it richer. It seems like the transition when I turn it off and it and kind of the nitro gets used up, that's a problem area. That's where it can start auto igniting. It could be just replacing the plug with a surface gap plug and that problem goes away. You can see how we started with about 5.7 horsepower and adding nitro and we were up at the last one was 7 horsepower, so 1.2, 1.3 horsepower gain there from uh, adding nitro. And uh, the nozzle is uh, clogged, so uh, we, should be able to, we should be able to add lots more. We can run a different nozzle even, but uh, it's not spraying like it's supposed to at the moment. So actually a success this time. Now it's just a matter of cleaning that nozzle and um, and adding more nitro and see what happens. Replace the plug with a surface gap plug to see if that helps with the running on even though you turn the ignition off problem. Just see how much nitro can we pour in there and how much power can that get us. We've gained 1.3 horsepower so far, but um, I'll need to fix that nozzle. Okay, thanks for watching. See you next time. Out in the shed by the railroad track Tinkering tools, no turning back Jets and a pump that's broke Hands stained with oil Train stoked Nice whispers the